First, legends and important stories over the years. Friday, starting at 5 a.m. Good morning, everyone. I'm Erin Myers here in Foothill Ranch, where a man was shot by deputies after allegedly committing fraud and brandishing a weapon in a Walmart. I'll have the details coming up. I'm Eric Spillman in Hancock Park. Neighbors plan to hold a vigil later today for the young woman found stabbed to death inside a furniture store here. Meanwhile, the man accused of the crime is now behind bars. And good morning, I'm Gene Kang. There's a glimmer of hope when we're talking about COVID cases starting to fall at LAUSD schools. We're going to take a look at those numbers and also how law enforcement is being infected as many are now recovering at home. Good morning, I'm Sam Rubin. New at 10 o'clock, arguably the very worst actress on television, bar none, she's terrible, uh, has just made a major announcement. It's good news for her, and I'll take a W, I'll take a V. Uh, it's Vanna White, the Wheel of Fortune star, is on the way here live. We have the most topical question for Vanna ever. We'll speak to her in moments. All right, and uh, we're looking at some uh, warmer temperatures for today and stronger winds, also moderate winds today. By the time we get into the weekend, those winds are going to be very, very strong. 73 coastal, downtown Los Angeles, 76, 74 in the San Fernando Valley, 62 degrees, high desert, Inland Empire, 74, 76, Orange County, Inland. Let's go to uh, Maracono and Sky 5. Yeah, good morning, everyone. Mark Hono live in Sky 5 HD. We are over the city of Vernon, L.A. County Fire Station number 13, where there is a flag ceremony that is just now getting underway at 10 o'clock this morning uh, in honor of uh, L.A. County firefighter Jonathan Flagler, who unfortunately lost his life uh, battling a house fire in Rancho Palos Verdes uh, back on January the 6th. Now, uh, this is a ceremony that uh, is just now going to get underway here, so we're going to back off and give these guys a little bit of room here. But uh, again, this is the city of Vernon where a uh, county fire uh, Flagler did serve for 19 years as a Vernon Fire Department uh, firefighter here before transferring over to L.A. County Fire here. So he has been with the service for nearly 21 years at this point and again, unfortunately, has passed away as a result of a house fire in the line of duty, but now a flag ceremony in his honor. So firefighter uh, Jonathan Flagler, may he rest in peace. Guys, that is the update from overhead in Sky 5 HD. Let me send it back down to you in Hollywood. Mark, thank you very much for that. We continue to follow breaking news in Orange County where a sheriff's deputy opened fire on a fraud suspect inside of a Walmart last night. KTLA's Aaron Myers live outside of that store in Foothill Ranch with details on what happened. Aaron, good morning. Good morning, Frank. In total, three people were taken into custody because of this situation, and the Walmart is still closed. We have seen employees arrive, uh, but the doors shut for the time being. This all happened last night, just before 945. That's when reports of a suspicious circumstances call came in. It's believed three suspects, two men and a woman, were trying to commit fraud by returning items they had not purchased here at the Walmart, which is located on the 26,500 block of Town Center Drive. Investigators say they're looking at possible theft as well. When deputies arrived, they were able to locate one of the suspects, a man near the front of the store. He is said uh, it was said he was uncooperative and a possible struggle ensued. Witnesses said the man produced a weapon, and that's when it's believed one deputy opened fire. We are told this situation could have been much worse, though. Well.